Hello, everybody. Okay, so we have our uh, olive oil menorah test going here. I uh, found some interesting things. I tried to run just a wick without... I made a little flame arrestor there, and I was having a trouble with it going out. And um, it's kind of interesting. Now I have a flame arrestor. It's going better. Uh, it's having trouble going the full half hour. Uh, but then I drop a couple more drops of olive oil down the top and it lights right back up and it's been going for a while now. So still not sure if it'll burn for a full half hour, but we'll have that going there. We're doing a, a test with the, uh, the, the helper candle. I'm going to mispronounce this. Humash candle. Hey, anyway, so <clears throat> why are we doing the video? I have been getting a lot of reviews over several different items that say the wick just burns right down and goes out. So you remember from the last test we did about wick height with these are the same bottles we used as last time and we're going to use them again. So this test is going to be different because what I accidentally did I had one of them showing three quarters of an inch or so and the wick made about a six inch flame and it was sitting inside of a six inch flame and it was not consumed after burning for two minutes. It was just nearly singed. And I'd like to see and duplicate that. There's actually a story uh, about a burning bush that burns for quite a bit of time and is not consumed. And I kind of realized that my wick burning for two minutes and not being more than singed was kind of like, uh, like that story a little bit. So I've already trimmed this one up. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this and trim it in front of you. So you'll see, this is the same wick that was used in the last test. You can see it is a little bit singed, and that's about it, as was that one. So we're going to cut this back down to clean wick. And I have two fire extinguishers on the floor next to me, just in case something goes wrong. And you need to always dry any spilled fuel. But what I'm going to do is make sure that's good and primed before I pull it up. But let's pull that up. There we go. That is way too much wick showing. Let's do the same thing with this one over here. That is way too much wick showing. See that? Anyway. Make sure those are good and soaked. And we are gonna do the burning bush test. And let me start a timer. So let's see what the first one looks like after four minutes time. You'll see if you have too much wick showing, it makes smoke and too much flame. There we go. Woo look at those go. So you will see this one over here is showing some signs of singeing. We're about 45 seconds into the test. Yeah, I'm going to open up a window. So one of the effects of having too much wick showing is going to be a bunch of smoke, and you can see that. So never have too much wick showing. Over here, we are starting to show a little bit of singeing and a little bit of singeing. But you'll notice we are now well over a minute into the test, and the wick has not burned down. I believe some tests said it would go out in 60 seconds. I lit it, and it went out in 60 seconds. So when you read a review, you need to understand that people get paid to leave reviews that are not true. Clearly, People get paid to leave reviews that are not true. It is engulfed. This is about a six inch flame and that's about an eight or nine inch flame right there. Let me go ahead.
and go to the tail of the tape. Okay, so they're about two inches tall, and we have flames going up to eight or nine inches on the tape measure. So, well over six inches of flame. The first wick is still showing signs of just being singed. The second wick is still showing signs of just being singed, but is not burning down. Oh my goodness, we are over two minutes into this test. There was a man named Rombaum. And he was a great thinker, and he would go through the Bible stories, and he said that every miracle had an explanation in nature. And I think you can see here, we are showing an explanation in nature for the burning bush. Could the burning bush have actually happened? Yes, the burning bush could have definitely have happened. So what are my two theories about the burning bush? If you had a bush that produced, I'm using Nair Mitzvah, pure paraffin lamp oil. If you had a bush that produced a coating on itself that was very much like pure paraffin wax, you could have a bush burn for quite a period of time and not be consumed. I'm seeing that here. So this one over here is showing a little bit of signs of darkening. We're getting singeing on the top. Let's really, we really need to go in and look at this thing. Look at these. They are just now, we are three and a half minutes into the test. That one on the right is sewing, singeing on the top. Singeing on the top, but you can still see color, you know, cotton colored cotton inside of the flame. We are four minutes into the test. I'm going to go ahead and go an extra two minutes. I think you could have had quite a conversation with a very special person in the time that this has been burning. Look at that. Rom bomb always said every miracle had an explanation in nature and look at this this is incredible these are really really impressive flames and we have not burned out the cotton yet so when you read a review that says i lit it and it burned right down they're not telling the truth they were unfortunately paid and they're willing to sell themselves and say anything if somebody's going to pay them there's a word for that so there are people out there willing to accept money and sell themselves for that. Here we go. This is really cool. Look at that. We're going to call this proof of the burning bush being 100% possible. Look at this. Dang, we're five minutes in. Five minutes it's been engulfed in flame. I think anybody engulfed in flame for five minutes would not be looking as good as these wicks. Oh, this is incredible. Look at this. Shoot, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I went to pull it down and I stopped it. Look at this. Proof of the burning bush is 100% possible. A proof of a miracle. Look at that. It is just now beginning to be singed. We have done this for six minutes. We're gonna go ahead and blow this out. Let's see what they look like. We're gonna keep that one going. Another two minutes. Okay. So this one is going for over six minutes. Look at that. Supposedly, my wick burns down completely and burns out. And that's what people are saying in reviews. This is my olive oil menorah right here. You can see that's still going. Now one thing, when you have too much wick showing, it definitely makes smoke. That is 100% true. Look at this, it's still going. This was burning for six minutes. 
engulfed in a six inch flame and is merely singed. The burning bush miracle has a proof in nature, just like Rombaum says, every miracle has a proof in nature. Look at that. So this is for all of my fans out there. All of those one star and two star reviews that said, I lit it and it just burnt right down. Oh my God. Oh my gosh, it just burnt right down. It is engulfed in a six inch flame. Look at this. We've got to go back to the ruler here. Hold on. That's for scale about what's going on here. Oh, and our looks like our olive oil is finally going out. That's been going for quite some time. Wow. Look at this. It is still just barely singed and it has not burnt itself down. Eight minutes engulfed in flame. I could have had a heck of a conversation with a very, very nice person for eight minutes fully engulfed in flame. Look at that. That is... Let's go for another two. Everybody, this is the burning bush miracle right before your eyes. Proof. Rombaum said that every miracle had a proof in nature. And you are watching a cotton wick soaked in Nair Mitzvah pure paraffin wax oil and has been going, I think, well over six minutes now. I'm not sure. A long, long time. Look at this flame. Look at that flame. Look at it. It's going. Oh, the olive oil has just gone out, I believe. Wow. Look at this thing. All right, everybody. Happy Hanukkah out there. I thought I'm going to try to get this out there. The burning bush miracle with an explanation in nature. Using Nair Mitzvah pure paraffin wax. My 3 16 hollow core. It's actually hollow in the center. There's a hole in the center. 3 16 hollow core. My turbo air core technology. Look at that turbo air core technology in action. The burning bush right before your eyes. Dang, we are like eight minutes and it still has not consumed itself. Oh, if this is not the proof of the burning bush is 100% possible with an explanation in nature. The bush produced, oh, it is finally, finally starting to char. All right, we're gonna blow it out. Are we ready? This is like eight minutes. I think that's plenty. Ready for the beep? Boop, eight minutes. <laughs> Rom bomb. Look at that. That went like an extra four minutes. It might even be 10 minutes, not eight minutes. Barely singed, engulfed in an enormous flame. Both of these. This one went two minutes longer than that one. At least maybe it was four minutes. I need to run the video back again. Holy smokes. All right, so when I pulled the camera out of the cradle, I accidentally hit stop and then I immediately hit start again, but Clearly, there are minutes and minutes and minutes and minutes of this just burning and burning. All right, everybody. The burning bush with an explanation in nature. Thank you for tuning in. Boom. When you read a review that says, My wick burned right down and went out. Unfortunately, they're not telling the truth. They've been paid to tell untruths. There's a word for that, too. But I'm not going to tell. I'm not going to use such a strong word. So when you read a review and it says my wick burned right down, you know that they are not telling the truth. You've seen it right in front of you. And in fact, I think we have proof that the burning bush is 100% plausible with a proof in nature. 
So if you can go and find a bush that produces a natural paraffin-like coating, you will have found the actual bush that was the type that was the burning bush. Everybody have a beautiful Hanukkah, have a beautiful Christmas, have a beautiful Kwanzaa, whatever you believe in. We're all here together, doesn't matter what you believe in, we're all together. So, Rombom's proof of the burning bush, the miracle in nature, right before your eyes. Everybody have a great day. Thank you very much to my real customers. You've kept me in business despite all of these horrible people who are willing to say and do anything. So thank you very much. Everybody have a beautiful day. Thank you.